What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the Gore Verbinski interview. Uh, this was several weeks ago. This is something that kind of slipped. I, I knew this existed, but it slipped under my radar, and I thought, you know what? I, I, I obviously cover Pirates of the Caribbean quite a lot. I've done it weekly almost for like five plus years at this point. Uh, so I think I'm the, probably the most consistent person around, and I, uh, I felt this would be something kind of fun to go over. And I really, the interview I'm talking about, by the way, is from Collider, and, and the general gist of it the bigger things that that were discussed in this movie is basically the filming of pirates 2 and 3 and how it was a disaster is putting it probably the uh, wrong way but stressful time like it was very time constraining right all of those things so i want to go over a couple of things that were said in this interview that i just find super like interesting uh, in, in in the general thing. So if you guys like this stuff, you guys want me to do more of things like this. And of course, I mean, I, at this point, truly, I will say this: I'm kind of just waiting. Like I want Margot Robbie Pirates info. I want Pirates Six info. I want Giant Up info. I'm definitely gonna obviously keep covering the, the this stuff weekly. But that's the big stuff we're kind of all waiting for. So until then, if you guys want me to do something different, kind of like this, definitely let me know in the comments. Reach out to me on Twitter. Uh, that's probably a really good place to get in contact with me if you guys want me to talk about something specific okay my twitter podcast now 15 you can look me up or it's in the uh, description below again just make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon all that good stuff okay so one of the most interesting things i found out was that and i didn't know this before was that the ending of pirates 3 when jack is setting sail to the fountain of youth right he's singing and it's a beautiful beautiful ending to pirates 3 i don't really think he doesn't have the pearl at that moment, obviously, but I think that that's about as good as you can end off a movie. I would argue that that ending is better than the ending where he actually has the pearl, let's say in Pirates 5, where he literally has his pearl, he's sailing to his beloved horizon, which is a really beautiful scene, it's a really good scene, but still, I actually like that one better, but that's an aside, that was actually filmed four or five days into filming Pirates 2. So they had no idea. They weren't even remotely close, you know, with, with being done filming Pirates 2, and they filmed that scene for Pirates 3. So the general idea of this interview, and I'll show you guys probably pictures of this interview as we go along, is that they were kind of just going on the fly with all this. They had most of what they wanted to do with Pirates 2 ready for when they went into it, but they had next to nothing for Pirates 3, and they were coming up with things literally on the fly. The executives and stuff, they were saying, hey, we're leaving this island to go to that island to film, so if you need anything for Pirates 3 from this island, you better film it, like, now, like, actually, tomorrow. So you better come up with stuff. And they're like, well, we have nothing. And they're like, well, you better come up with stuff. And that's how they did it. He talked about how they were writing lines and just scenes for different people and thinking ahead, like, oh, do we want to do something with Davy Jones here? Oh, do we want to do something with this character here? Well, let's just film it because we're not coming back here and we may need it for Pirates 3. And that's how they operate. He also talked about how they had 10 weeks of post-production editing for Pirates 3 to be done. Now, I don't agree with Collider whatsoever when they say, well, okay, Pirates 3 is long. Pirates 3, at the time I watched it, was immensely confusing to me. But you guys all know this by now. It's my favorite Pirates movie by literally a long mile. It's also my favorite movie of all time. I, I love the movie to death. I've watched the movie. I've heard people sometimes say they watch movies like 100 plus times, which actually is, is literally insane. Uh, I haven't watched it that much, but I've easily watched Pirates 3, I'd say like 40 to 50 times. And I love it every single time it's i mean it's always going to be just a special movie to me i mean i'm mean, flat out and i so i don't agree with the fact that like it's bad if people think it's bad i'm sorry for that person truly somebody must have hurt them at some point in their life uh, and but a lot of these are jokes by the way um but no i mean i i do get that it is kind of bloated and there are some things you could probably take out at the same time I do think a lot of the things in Pirates 3 are kind of necessary. You know what I mean? I don't think maybe it's put together as perfectly as it could have been. But I do think you needed kind of every single scene you shot to develop something in the world. You know what I mean? It's a really, it's an odd thing. But to do all that, like to edit all of this, and I don't think they added all of it in 10 weeks because Gore talked about that he was editing stuff for even like Pirates 2 while he was filming it. Like that's how, that's how closely, because they had to reach uh, certain deadlines, right? When Pirates 2 came out when Pirates 3 came out, so they were going like crazy. I think he said it took 300 days to shoot both movies. They shot it back to back, but again, they didn't shoot it like Pirates 2 first, then Pirates 3. Generally, they did, but sometimes they had to film certain parts of Pirates 3 in Pirates 2. So, 
I mean, reading it, now I read the entire interview, it's, I mean, it's phenomenal. Now, it does bring me back to just some of the greatest memories of Pirates 2. He talked about that, uh, the three-way sword fight, right, between Norrington, Will, uh, and Jack. Awesome. I mean, uh, to hear some of the stuff, to hear some of the, like, he talked about how he had to bring a Davy Jones head around to all the locations so they could always make sure that they make it realistic to where, like, the sun was hitting and just all of this practical stuff. The guy truly is a genius. They miss him so much for Pirates 4 and 5. I mean, I can't even... Look, uh, I'm not saying they're bad directors, the ones who did 4 and 5. I actually was really looking forward to 5 from those two directors, but you look at what Gore did with 1 through 3, and now they did ask him at the end of the, the interview, they said, have you ever watched 4 and 5? And he said, no, he's never watched it. He said one day, maybe he will, but he hasn't watched it yet. Probably he shouldn't. Now, I, I actually like 5. I, I, I really do. I think 5 uh, has a lot of really good things in it. I don't think it's the best Pirates movie ever. 4 was obviously not good whatsoever, so maybe he shouldn't watch those movies at all, but man, he's talented. He is. He's, he's a very smart guy. He's a very, uh, I don't know, just a very talented guy, and truly, Pirates of the Caribbean would not be Pirates of the Caribbean without him, because again, say what you want about 2 and 3, but, and even, what's funny is Collider says in the interview that, the, I guess the guy interviewing Gore says, you know, 3 was a bit bloated, and he kind of like grilled him on 3 a little bit, but he also said that 2 is very underrated and much better than most people give it, uh, most people say it is. I I mean, I agree with that, that you know, that second part. I, I do think 2 is actually really good. I think 2 is probably the most overlooked Pirates movie ever, because you have one, which mo oh, I guess, I'd say most people, and I would say that's probably accurate, one, most people think is the best, okay, now I don't agree with that, but most people do, two, kind of gets forgotten because of three, I would say, and three has people on both sides, four has a lot of opinions, because that was actually the highest grossing, I believe, right, I think it did more than two, was the highest grossing Pirates movie, uh, but it was also the worst, I would say, by a mile, so you have strong opinions on four, and then five was just the last one, right, it's kind of in our minds, now that was one of the lower grossing films, and not, you know, everybody saw that movie, and that one, some people think it was the worst, some people think it was a little bit better than that, but two, I think, commonly gets overlooked as even happening. I don't even think people talk about two besides the Kraken and besides Davy Jones himself, but two is actually insanely good. I think two kind of needs to have three with it. Um, it. It's a lot like Infinity War with Endgame, where it's like, I think two gets elevated by three, but I think three, in my opinion, does more of the heavy lifting. I mean, I could go on literally forever about it. I'm very, I mean, I, I'm, I'm grateful, I would say, and I, I say that in a like, I'm not, like, kissing his shoes. I'm not, like, bowing down to him. I, I know some people have these things with the Hollywood elite, and I'm not saying he necessarily is one, but people have this thing with Hollywood elite where we look up to them as idols and, like, we do whatever they say, and, and they're so much smarter than us, even though most of them are not. And I, and I fall in that camp where I, I do think most of this stuff, right? All these people uh, complaining about, like, Ellen when she was complaining about being in her mansion uh, for quarantining, right? It's like, okay, give me a break, right? I'd, I'd love to stay in a mansion, too. So, you know, you have that kind of stuff. So when I do say, like, I, I'm grateful for what he did, I, I say that in a, in a very honest way where it's like I'm not – kissing to his feet. I don't think he's better than, I don't think he's like a god, right? But I do think he would not, I mean, Pirates would not be the same without him. We got by a mile, whether you liked one better, two better, three better, we got the best of Pirates of the Caribbean with him. And I don't know if we'll ever, I've said this before, should they have stopped at three? Could you ever beat some of the better movies in that trilogy? I don't think you ever can. Truly, I mean, I think six, the reason I want six is to say goodbye to Jack in the best way possible, but I don't think we're ever going to get a Pirates movie that's as good as one of those three. Now, actually, I think one is the worst of those three movies. I will go, and I know that's not a, a good opinion. I know that's not uh, really echoed by anybody, but I would say my order is three, two, one. That's my personal order for that trilogy uh, of Pirates movies. So I know that's not everybody's, but I don't think we're, I think we can maybe get a movie that's better than Pirates 1, in my opinion. But, like, for me, for Pirates 3, it's untouchable. I don't think there'll ever be a Pirates movie better than that. So, let me know, guys, in the comments below. What do you think? Uh, what do you think about Pirates 2, 3, the, the, the shooting schedule? I mean, it sounds terrible. It sounds terrible. It sounds like they were under quite the the deadline. Uh, just uh, the, the, that was kind of looming in the background for the entire time. So, they did, honestly, some incredible work with just the most stress that one could probably ever live with doing that. You know what I mean? And, uh, 
Again, I mean, Ellen uh, crying about staying in her mansion, that's a real... You know, if you complain about staying in your mansion, or if you complain about doing something like Gore was saying about Pirates 2 and 3, even though you're like a Hollywood elite, oh, I'm sure he made millions by doing it, still, that's an incredible and insane job given the circumstances. And uh, again, I respect the guy a ton. So again, let me know what you guys think. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed, bell icon, turn on, all that good stuff, Twitter, Podcast Now 15. Still, you know, once a week, Pirates videos. I try to do them every single Wednesday, and we'll just keep on marching on until we get new news on one of the two Pirates movies, or maybe a, a brand new thing, maybe a TV show, or maybe something completely different. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.